What's going on, y'all? This is Rashad from RashadBeats.com. Welcome back to another Beat Nerd 101 tutorial. And today, we are going to be learning how to create a smooth electric piano melody. We're going to really focus strictly on chords and how to make um, our chords sound as smooth and melodic as possible within our loop. So, let's go ahead and get started. I already loaded up my plugin, my hypersonic plugin. I really like this plugin for their electric pianos. The electric pianos sound really good. So let's go ahead and get started. So I'm gonna pick one more. I'm gonna just pick another. Cool. So what we want to aim for. Let's slow it down a little bit. I'm gonna put at least 130 for our tempo. What we want to aim for specifically a smooth pattern of chords like the chords must follow each other and they must sound full and melodic so i'm gonna explain that as i go but let's go ahead and see what we can find first let's find a chord we can start off with that's cool but Switch it up a little bit. Let's do okay. So, this chord is let's actually go to our piano roll, make it easier for you guys. Right click, piano roll, and we're going to start off with. So the first chord we're going to start off with, we have D, F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp. So let's go ahead and put that down. We're going to break it down piece by piece. And then second chord. Let's see. Let's hear it real quick. So let's use for our second chord, we're going to do G sharp, C sharp, E, G sharp, C sharp, E. Let's see. So let's play what we got so far. Our third chord would be. That'll be C sharp, F, G sharp, C sharp, F, G sharp. And basically, how we're going to do the rhythm for this, for this melody. We want it to have a lot of spacing just so it can give it that well-timed voicing. Or the way the chord comes in because of the space creates a rhythm. It creates a different rhythm for the piano. So we have... Let's get one more. And this one should be a different one. So it should be like... Let's do F sharp, A, C sharp, F sharp, A, 
C sharp again, F sharp. Now let's see how that sounds completed. Cool. Now that we have just our beginning of our melody, we're going to add a little bit more just to make it a little bit more interesting than what we have it. But let's listen to what we have so far. I'll play the metronome with it just to give us a good, um, just to give us the timing. Okay, I like that. So that's a cool loop that we have. Now let's add another hypersonic. We're going to work on our counter melody next. So let's go ahead and do that. So okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use low notes for this next counter melody and it's only going to be single notes. Watch. F sharp, uh, I missed it at the end, but <laughs> basically uh, just single notes and they kind of serve as if they were like a bass line. So if I was to add a bass line, I could follow these exact notes and it'll sound really good. Of course, the instrument will be different. It'll be a bass line instead of a piano, but yeah. So that's a cool little loop that we have going on. So let's do one more thing. We're going to do one more counter melody just to complete this uh, loop. And I'm going to play it and show you guys exactly how it all comes together. So let's do one more hypersonic. Make sure all of your sounds are in the mixer track as well. I haven't really been doing that. Okay. So let's see what we could play for with this one. Now we just gotta fix what we have. So now that we have our whole body of melodies, Let's go ahead and loop them to the nine. We already have it at the five. So highlight everything like I just did. Control B to bring it to the nine. And then do the same thing for your other. Your other melodies. And then we're going to add a couple of notes just to finalize the loop so it won't sound the same. Thank you. 
Okay, so let's hear everything we have together and that'll basically wrap up our melody. So let's play it. Cool little melody to start off with. Um, nice and simple. Get the point across. Let's go ahead and split everything. Let's drag it out just so you guys can see it. That's basically how you do a smooth electric piano melody be on the lookout for more beat nerd tutorials um thank you guys for tuning in and watching this one we will have a lot more tutorials there's a lot more where this came from thank you guys for tuning in we appreciate everybody that's been supporting the beat nerd uh, movement and we are looking forward to bringing more tutorials and we're, we also hope that these things actually help and we're looking to see more feedback and if you guys have any questions, uh, please leave them in the comments below. And please also be sure to subscribe and um, leave a comment. I'll leave my. I'll also leave the email in the uh, description as well if you have any questions. And if that's all, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Beat Nerd 101.